let me go over the key points, why you should care. This thing that is, it, remember, this is proposed by the Biden administration. These clauses are proposed by our executive branch, by our president, okay? First off, increase surveillance. Under Article 5, the WHO will develop early warning criteria that will allow it to establish a risk assessment for a member state, which means it can use the type of modeling, simulation, and predictions that exaggerated the risk from COVID-19 over two years ago. Once the WHO creates its ass assessment unilaterally, it will communicate it to intergovernmental organizations and other member states. They will then have a 48-hour deadline. This is how this is going to work. It, within 48 hours and really less, they will have to make a go, no go decision about complying with the mandate, which is entirely under the control of Tedros. The director general of the World Health Organization has the authority under this statute to circumvent the U.S. Constitution and to activate a dominant role over the U.S. Constitution by the Constitution of the World Health Organization. He can do this unilaterally. Remember, the two major donors to the World Health Organization currently are the CCP, Communist China, and Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Bill Gates. Bill Gates is placing 250 million into the WHO. They, those two control the WHO full stop. What this bill does is it hands over control of the American Constitution and circumvent states' rights. This is really a power play by the, by the executive branch to create a pathway whereby they can get the WHO to do their bidding and to overturn the states' rights.